Exercises. Portugal. France. To buy. Bought. Bought. Free. Would you like? Guide. Text. Either. Holiday. Even. Film. All. Young. Like. Thing. She would like. To need. Trip. Abroad. To call. Doctor. Idea. Exercise one. What are you reading, Kate? I'm reading a novel. Do you like it? Yes, it's very good. What do you want to buy? I want to buy a carpet. Which carpet? This dark one. Are you ready, Kate? I'm almost ready, John. Have you translated the exercises? Yes, I'm taking them with me. Exercise two. Last summer was awful. The weather often changed. One day a strong wind blew and the next day the sun shone. It often rained in the mornings and in the afternoons the temperature rose to almost 40 degrees centigrade. But I must tell you that I enjoyed that summer very much. It was the most beautiful summer in my life. I met Joan then. Exercise 3. I must have a new blouse. What colour? Blue, I think. There is a nice blue blouse on that shelf. Yes, but it's too small for me. What about this one? This one's better. I think I'll try it on. Oh, no, look, Simon. The sleeves are too long and the collar is too wide. Yes, I can see it doesn't fit. But we can try in another shop. OK, but we have only half an hour. Betty wants to buy... Betty wants to buy a new blouse. Simon can see blue blouses. Simon can see blue blouses on a shelf. The blouses for Betty. The blouse is too small for Betty. Betty tries blouse. Betty tries another blouse. She doesn't want to buy the blouse. She doesn't want to buy the blouse because the sleeves are too long and the collar is too wide. Betty and Simon have only to look for a blouse in another shop. Betty and Simon have only half an hour to look for a blouse in another shop. Exercise 4. Simon was in England last year. Betty has never flown. Her husband is having breakfast now. Jane will see her mother next week. Chris wants to try that black suit. John has never seen his family from America. Anne usually watches TV. Mary liked to go to school when she was a child. Anne never switches on the TV set. False. Betty always goes to London by plane. False. Chris wants to put on a suit. True. Jane's mother will see her daughter next week. True. Simon has never been in England. False. John's family from America has never visited him. True. Her husband is eating dinner at the moment. False. Mary enjoyed school very much. True. Exercise 5. I had to go by car because I was late the train. I had to go by car because I was late for the train. There is a shop. My house. I can see it from my window. There is a shop opposite my house. I can see it from my window. Peter has done his homework. Peter has just done his homework. He is a poor man. He has so money. He is a poor man. He has so little money. I am man who knows how to drive this car. I am the only man who knows how to drive this car. 
Have they bought a house? Have they bought a house yet? Mary will sell her apartment. Mary will sell her apartment next week. The bags are the house. Go and bring them in. The bags are outside the house. Go and bring them in. Bill found one pound three days. Bill found one pound three days ago. I haven't stayed at this hotel two years. I haven't stayed at this hotel for two years. Exercise six. Hello, Anne. How do you usually spend your free time? I usually go to the cinema. Do you always drive there? No, I sometimes go by tram. Don't you go by bus? I saw a bus stop next to your house. Well, I don't like to go by bus. Bill, do you like football? Yes, I like it very much. Do you want to see a match today? Is it on TV? No, but I have two tickets. You're great. Exercise seven. Good evening. This week the weather has been strange and changed very often. On Monday it was raining from the morning till the afternoon. Then the sun was shining. On Tuesday it was very windy and we had some snow. The streets were white. Wednesday was almost a spring day. It was sunny. Today it is very foggy. We almost cannot see people who are in front of us. Tomorrow the temperature will be very low. Put on your coats, please. In two days we will have winter weather with strong and cold winds and a lot of clouds in the sky. But Sunday will be better. The temperature will rise and the sun will shine again. What day is it today? It's Thursday. Was it sunny on Tuesday? No, it wasn't. When will the temperature rise? The temperature will rise on Sunday. What kind of weather is it today? It's foggy today. When was it raining? It was raining on Monday. Will it be cloudy on Friday? No, it won't. When did the wind blow? The wind blew on Tuesday. Exercise 8. Peter, is it your shirt? Yes, it's... Yes, it's mine. Anne, is it John's coat? No, it isn't. It's mine. No, it isn't his. It's mine. Whose is this handbag? Mary was here yesterday. It must be... Mary was here yesterday. It must be hers. My parents visited me last week. So these hats are... So these hats are theirs. I can see a new jersey on the bed. Is it... Peter? I can see a new jersey on the bed. Is it yours, Peter? Yes. I bought it yesterday. Exercise 9. Simon is having breakfast now. Simon is eating breakfast now. Have you already had coffee? Have you already drunk coffee? I didn't have any cigarettes yesterday. I didn't smoke any cigarettes yesterday. Will you have dinner with us tomorrow? Will you eat dinner with us tomorrow? His sister is having tea at the moment. His sister is drinking tea at the moment. Exercise 10. What will we have for dinner tomorrow? Why are you asking? Betty and John are coming to see us. I didn't know that. The dinner must be delicious. All right, we'll have meat and fish. Exercise 11. Kate's father sells bread. Peter's mother works in a hospital. Jane's brother brings people letters. Mary's sister can cut hair. Anne's father sells meat. Betty's mother sells vegetables. 
Kate's mother works in an office, but she isn't a typist. Jack's father can drive cars and buses. Kate's father is... Kate's father is a baker. Peter's mother is... Peter's mother is a nurse. Jane's brother is... Jane's brother is a postman. Mary's sister is... Mary's sister is a barber. Anne's father is... Anne's father is a butcher. Betty's mother is... Betty's mother is a greengrocer. Kate's mother is... Kate's mother is a secretary. Jack's father is... Jack's father is a driver. Exercise 12. Potatoes, eggs, cheese, vegetables, butter, fish, honey, meat, toast. Breakfast, eggs, cheese, butter, honey, toast. Dinner, potatoes, vegetables, fish, meat. Exercise 13. Can you fly? No, nobody can fly. Do you have something to eat? No, I have nothing to eat. Have you ever grown vegetables? No, I have never grown vegetables. Did you see Kate yesterday? No, I saw nobody yesterday. Do you always go to work by car? No, I never go to work by car. What will happen then? Nothing will happen then. Who can find my money? Nobody can find your money. Have they ever used this toaster? No, they have never used this toaster. Exercise 14. Jack's apartment is large. It is in a building next to the tram stop, so Jack doesn't lose much time to go to work. There are two rooms in the apartment, a dining room and a bedroom. The bedroom is small. There is a white carpet on the floor and there are white curtains on the window. Jack likes to read in the evenings, so he has bought an expensive floor lamp recently. He sometimes watches television in his bedroom, so I gave him a TV set last month. Jack's dining room is the most beautiful room I have ever seen. There is nice wallpaper on the walls and there are a hundred books on the shelves. I'd like to visit Jack because we usually sit on the settee next to the fireplace with a cup of delicious coffee. Where does Jack live? Jack lives in an apartment. Where is Jack's building? It's next to the tram stop. How many rooms are there in the apartment? There are two rooms in the apartment. What is there in the bedroom? There is a white carpet on the floor and there are white curtains on the window. Why has Jack put a floor lamp there? Because he likes to read in the evenings. Why does he have a TV set in his bedroom? Because he sometimes watches television there. What is there on the walls in the dining room? There is nice wallpaper. How many books are there on the shelves? There are a hundred books on the shelves. Where does Jack usually sit with his friend? They sit on the settee next to the fireplace. What do they usually have? They usually have a cup of delicious coffee. Exercise 15. I usually have a cup of tea at five. Did you have a cup of tea at five yesterday? I like to work in the garden. How often do you work in the garden? Jane, I must translate this novel. Haven't you translated it yet? Jane, I want to sleep now. How long do you want to sleep? Peter doesn't like to clean his room. Does he ever clean his room? I have heard about it already. Did you hear about it yesterday in the morning? I like to read long novels. Are you reading a long novel now? Exercise 16. Where are you, Jack? I'm in the kitchen. Do you want a cup of coffee? Yes, I do, thank you. Can you bring me some fruit too? 
Would you like apples or grapes? Are the grapes sweet? I'll try. No, they aren't. Are there any oranges and pears? Yes, there are. And they are sweet. So bring me one apple, one orange and two pears. Jack is in the kitchen. He is making coffee. Kate wants a cup of coffee. She also wants some fruit. But Jack says that the grapes are not sweet. Kate asks him about oranges and pears. Jack tells her that there are oranges and pears, and they are sweet. So Kate tells him to bring her one apple, one orange, and two pears. Exercise 17. Seller. Sellers. President. Presidents. Shelf. Shelves. Coat. Coats. Tooth. Teeth. Finger. Fingers. Goose. Geese. Mouse. Mice. Napkin. Napkins. Loaf. Loaves. Ox. Oxen. Wall. Walls. Tram. Trams. Child. Children. Typist. Typists. Postman. Postman. Knife. Knives. Cloud. Clouds. Spoon. Spoons. Life. Lives. Exercise 18. Yesterday, John, to buy a new clock. On Wednesday, he late for work. In the afternoon, while he home, he a big shop. He it and a beautiful clock. Yesterday, John forgot to buy a new clock. On Wednesday, he was late for work. In the afternoon, while he was going home, he saw a big shop. He entered it and got a beautiful clock. What is Simon now, Peter? He... to catch the cat. What is Simon doing now, Peter? He is trying to catch the cat. Kate, something strange... What is it, Bill? I can remember that I... the money on the table a moment ago, and now it isn't there. I think the dog... it. Look! There he is with your money in his teeth. Kate, something strange has just happened. What is it, Bill? I can remember that I put the money on the table a moment ago, and now it isn't there. I think the dog has taken it. Look! There he is with your money in his teeth. What? Tomorrow in the evening? I don't know. I... The TV guide yet? Can you... To the shop and... A guide? Okay. I... It's in an hour. What will we watch tomorrow in the evening? I don't know. I haven't read the TV guide yet. Can you go to the shop and get a guide? OK. I'll do it in an hour. Where... your last holiday, Tom? I... in Portugal. Your holiday? It... beautiful. Where did you spend your last holiday, Tom? I was in Portugal. Did you enjoy your holiday? It was beautiful. Exercise 19. Speak, spoke, spoken. Grow, grew, grown. Wear, wore, worn. Blow, blew, blown. Sleep, slept, slept. Lose, lost, lost. Meet, met, met. Write, wrote, written. See, saw, seen. Begin, began, begun. Sing, sang, sung. Fly, flew, flown. Get, 
got, got. Catch, caught, caught. Exercise 20. This blue car is big. Yes, but that red one is... Yes, but that red one is bigger. I don't like this house. It's ugly. It's... than I thought. It's uglier than I thought. We cannot buy this bookcase. I have very little money. I have even... I have even less. Betty is coming at five. Is it early enough? Yes. Peter is coming at 4.30. Yes, Peter is coming earlier at 4.30. John's wife is very polite. Yes, but you are... than she is. Yes, but you are more polite than she is. Today is a sunny day. Tomorrow it will be... Tomorrow it will be sunnier. Look! My watch is fast. Mine is even... Mine is even faster. I can take this bag. It's heavy. Oh, no. Take that one. It's... Oh, no. Take that one. It's heavier. Anne's dining room is so dark. You haven't seen her bedroom yet. It's... You haven't seen her bedroom yet. It's darker. This text is so difficult. I can't translate it. My text is even... I can't translate it either. My text is even more difficult. I can't translate it either. Blue Station. He liked the stranger very much, but the Blue Station was the best. He thinks that the garden wasn't good. The Blue Station was... than the garden. The blue station was better than the garden. The stranger was than the blue station. The stranger was worse than the blue station. The garden was of all films. The garden was the worst of all films. Jane has a lot of money. She is rich. Betty has even more money than Jane. But Mary has more than Betty and Jane. Betty is... than Jane. Betty is richer than Jane. Jane is... than Mary. Jane is poorer than Mary. Mary is the... of the three girls. Mary is the richest of the three girls. John is 17 years old. Bill is 21. And Simon is 25 years old. Bill is than John. Bill is older than John. John is than Simon. John is younger than Simon. Simon is of the boys. Simon is the oldest of the boys. Mother came home at four. Father came at 4.15 and their daughter Kate at five. Father came, than mother, but he came, than Kate. Father came later than mother, but he came earlier than Kate. Mother came, of all, and Kate was... Mother came the earliest of all, and Kate was the latest. Jack paid ten pounds for his shirt. Mary bought a coat for fifty pounds. Anne paid twenty-two pounds for her new shoes. Anne's shoes were... than Mary's coat. Anne's shoes were cheaper than Mary's coat. Mary's coat was... than Jack's shirt. Mary's coat was more expensive than Jack's shirt. Jack's shirt was... than Anne's shoes. Jack's shirt was cheaper than Anne's shoes. Exercise 22. I think this fruit is fresh. Is it... to eat? Is it fresh enough to eat? My friends are coming to see us today. Have you... for them? Have you enough tea for them? 
I must get up at six tomorrow. Is it? The bus is at six thirty. Is it early enough? The bus is at six thirty. I think Peter will understand it. Do you think he is? Do you think he is clever enough? I want to buy this apartment. Okay, but are the, for us and the children. Okay, but are there enough rooms for us and the children? I must have a new blouse. Don't you have? I want a new suit. Don't you have enough blouses? I want a new suit. Exercise twenty-three. When Peter was a young boy, he liked to play football. Every day after school, he and his five best friends went by bicycles outside the town and played a match. All of the boys enjoyed those days very much. Peter is forty now, but from time to time he asks his old friends to play a match. He says that he feels like a child then. Betty wants to buy many things for her bedroom. She would like to get a big armchair, a new carpet, and curtains. She says that she also needs a settee, but she has not enough money to buy everything, so she will buy only an armchair and a carpet. Women like fashion and clothes very much. They love to buy new blouses, hats, and handbags. But my sister likes to wear shirts, suits, and woolen jerseys. Sometimes I think she would like to be a boy. Exercise twenty-four. I haven't felt better a week. I haven't felt better for a week. They haven't watched television Monday. They haven't watched television since Monday. Haven't you had a holiday? Nineteen fifty-five. Haven't you had a holiday since nineteen fifty-five? Betty hasn't taught at school five years. Betty hasn't taught at school for five years. Has it snowed the last two years? Has it snowed for the last two years? She has brought two dogs home yesterday. She has brought two dogs home since yesterday. I haven't slept. You returned. I haven't slept since you returned. John hasn't been late for work. He bought a car. John hasn't been late for work since he bought a car. We have used this fireplace seven years. We have used this fireplace for seven years. Our town has changed the last eight months. Our town has changed for the last eight months. Exercise twenty-five. We will stay at a on holiday. We will stay at a hotel on holiday. On Sunday, we usually go to. On Sunday, we usually go to church. You can buy the ticket for the train at the. You can buy the ticket for the train at the railway station. Go to the. To send a letter. Go to the post office to send a letter. My father worked in a. Two years ago. My father worked in a factory two years ago. I must return the book to the. I must return the book to the library. Do you live in an apartment or a? Do you live in an apartment or a house? Can we have dinner at a? Today. Can we have dinner at a restaurant today? There are ten apartments in this. There are ten apartments in this apartment building. Can I get tomatoes in this? Can I get tomatoes in this shop? Exercise twenty-six. John. A car yesterday at five. John was driving a car yesterday at five. They. When we. They were singing when we entered. My mother. While I. 
my mother was knitting while I was reading. One Peter, we... television. When Peter left, we were watching television. She, while she... She was smiling while she was sleeping. On Monday at nine, she... bread. On Monday at nine, she was making bread. It, while we... in the garden. It was raining while we were walking in the garden. Yesterday at eight, she... her last cigarette. Yesterday at eight, she was smoking her last cigarette. The water, when I... The water was boiling when I returned. When I... him, he... in his old armchair. When I saw him, he was sitting in his old armchair. Exercise 27. Peter is leaving for France tomorrow. Has he ever been to France before? No, he hasn't. This will be his first trip abroad. Is he going with his wife? He's taking his wife and three children. Where will they stay? I told them about that cheap hotel where we stayed last year. The park in Paris? Oh, no, it's the flower garden near Paris. Can't you remember that nice room we had there? Yes, I can. I can also remember all those beautiful trips we made in Paris. Where is Peter going tomorrow? Peter is going to France. Has he ever been abroad before? No, he hasn't. Who is he taking with him? He's taking his wife and three children with him. Did Kate and Jack stay at the park in Paris? No, they didn't. Where did they stay? They stayed at the flower garden near Paris. What room did they have? They had a nice room. What did they do in Paris? They went on beautiful trips. Exercise 28. I'm going home, Tom. Where are you going? I want to buy a new toaster. What do you want to buy? Simon and Kate will have a child soon. When will they have a child? Our daughter wants to become a nurse. Who wants to become a nurse? I have already written the letter. What have you already written? It will take us two hours to drive to our mother. How long will it take us to drive to our mother? Jack can read very fast. How can Jack read? We must buy the tickets at the railway station. Where must we buy the tickets? I didn't see that film yesterday. What didn't you see yesterday? We can buy this lamp. Which lamp can we buy? Exercise 29. Peter usually helps his mother. Peter helped his mother yesterday. Anne always drives to work. Anne will drive to work tomorrow. Simon seldom watches television. Simon hasn't watched television since yesterday. Mary cleans the kitchen every day. Mary was cleaning the kitchen yesterday at six. Bill goes for a walk every day. Bill has already gone for a walk. Chris starts work at nine every day. Chris will start work at nine next week. Jane visits her mother every Sunday. Jane hasn't visited her mother yet. Betty is often late for work. Betty was late for work last Wednesday. We often leave for England. We are leaving for England now. They don't often meet their friends. They haven't met their friends for two weeks. Exercise 30. 
John feels awful today. His chest and shoulders hurt him very much. Jane is calling the doctor. When the doctor comes, she says that John must go to bed. John doesn't like this idea, but the doctor tells him that he must stay in bed for five days. John wants to get up on Wednesday because he and Jane are going to his parents for dinner. But the doctor says that he can get up on Saturday. Till Saturday he can only watch television, read and sleep. Jane, I feel awful today. My chest and shoulders hurt me very much. I'm calling the doctor. Good morning. Oh, you look bad. You must go to bed. I don't like this idea. You must go to bed now and stay there for five days. I want to get up on Wednesday. We are going to my parents for dinner. Oh, no. You will have dinner at home in your bed. You can get up on Saturday. But before Saturday, you can only watch television, read and sleep. Homework. Exercise one. Where do you work, Simon? At a greengrocer's. Is it your own shop? No, it's my brother's. Does he work with you? No, he has ten shops in the town, but he doesn't work in any of them. How long have you worked in that shop? Oh, I have just started, but I think it won't be too difficult for me. What are you doing, Peter? I'm thinking what to buy for our new house. I can tell you that. A large bed, two bookcases, one desk for me and one for you. Lamps, pictures, a settee with two armchairs. OK, we can buy everything, but now we haven't enough money. So we can buy a bed and one desk first. No, I need an armchair. We won't buy a desk now. We can think about it next month. Are you waiting for big money? Yes, I am. I will get some soon.